<laughs> Sorry, Jeff and I were just reading the crazy sexy diet to live like you mean it. And then we remembered that Jeff was dead. <laughs> We can't talk for very long because uh, the show is so packed full of m meaty goodness tonight. <laughs> yeah, meaty goodness that we, we have to be very quick. So very quickly, how do you think the show will be tonight? It's going to be incredible. I, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> I think it, there'll, there'll be parts of the show will be good and other parts, eh. <laughs> but all I'm saying is if you sit through the, eh, You'll get to the band are great tonight, aren't the band going to oh, be great? Oh, man, we, we heard them in rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> they were sensational. All right, we, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back with the show. Sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. surprised by the brightness of my tie. <laughs> Look how bright that is. This is like the tie version of crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the uh, colour of Secretariat's eyes, actually, doesn't it? Look at the colour of Secretariat's eyes. <laughs> hey, my tie's like your eyes, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody. It is, a, it is a great day. It's a great day for former President uh, Bill Clinton. Everyone's still talking about his, his speech in Charlotte last night. It was a remarkable speech. 45 minutes long, 6,000 words. It was like the political version of the guitar solo from Freebird. <laughs> he really threw it down like, I'm as free as bird. <laughs> And this bird can't all chime. <laughs> and this bird can't... <laughs> Even the Republicans admit that Clinton was great. It was like he's, he really nailed them. He just pounded away. He, he, really, he really stuck it to them. People's minds were blown. <laughs> I've run out of double entendres, that's it, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that was great, and it's also a great today, today if you like the music videos, because uh, the VMAs were earlier tonight. I watched them, of course, because we're live. <laughs> now, VMA stands for Video Music Awards, and yet people say the VMA Awards. Now, that's like saying the Video Music Awards Awards. It's like ATM means automated uh, teller machine, but people say they're looking for the ATM machine, which is like the automated teller machine machine. <laughs> I realize I'm just a mad old man saying stuff in the middle of the night. It's not jokes at all. I'm just... Ah! I have realized that. <laughs> anyway, the VMAs are downtown at the LA uh, Staples Center. It's an arena. Now, the Staples Center it is not the back of Joan Rivers' neck. <laughs> that Joan Rivers has had plastic surgery. How dare you? How dare even Joan Rivers does Joan Rivers plastic surgery jokes? How dare you? Yeah. 
You know, for years the VMAs were at Radio City uh, Music Hall in New York City, but now the, it's at the Staples Centre, because what says rock and roll like an office supply superstore? <laughs> The VMAs, of course, are famous for uh, controversy. A few years ago, Lady Gaga wore her uh, meat dress there. I love the idea of clothes you can eat. That's why my underpants are made of Laffy Taffy. <laughs> I'm as free as bird. <laughs> Yeah, one year at the VMAs, uh, Kid Rock and Tommy Lee got into a huge fist fight. I, I don't remember what the fight was about. Uh, I think that it was they differed over the Pythagorean theorem as the basis for the major key skills. <laughs> or it might have been over beer. <laughs> oh no, it was over, uh, what's, um, Pamela... Yeah. <laughs> Just a mad old guy in the middle of the night. Just a mad old guy in the middle of the night. Yeah, what was her name? Was that uh, Pamela? Pamela, that was her name. I'm a spies. Anyway, the most infamous in, uh, moment at the VMAs uh, was the time Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift. And now Kanye should have known better. It never goes well when you take to the stage and start spouting off idiotic opinions that nobody asked for. <laughs> Trust me on this, I have some experience. <laughs> I can never keep track of all the categories that VMAs as well. There's so many popular music styles. They get the uh, rock, uh, the pop, the hip hop, the jitterbug, the Charleston. <laughs> you got any? The ham sandwich. Uh, <laughs> is that a sex thing? Yeah, that's for later. Okay. <laughs> You know, one category is a best new artist. And my money is on the breakout young girl that everybody's talking about. Honey Boo Boo. Right? It's got to be Honey Boo Boo this year. How do you mean I'm doing a ding dong, Honey Boo Boo? Rock some dudes. Yeah, I'll have that free bird. And of course, the band One Direction are expected to do well. But they confuse me, that band. They're definitely talented and adorable. But I get the feeling a couple of the dudes in that band are going in more than one direction, have you? <laughs> Maybe even. <laughs> and, and the others in the band are at least curious if there's another direction available to them. Mind you, a little sexual confusion is good for record sales. The more rumours people hear, the, the more they buy. For years there were rumours that Mick Jagger and David Bowie slept together in the 1970s. So they finally put that to rest with their video for Dancing in the Streets. <laughs> They were in no way having sex. <laughs> you, got a, you got a picture from that video? There you are. <laughs> anyway, big news from the, tonight's VM is the, the first trailer uh, yeah, for the Twilight uh, movie is, is playing tonight. The, you know, the, the, it's the fourth of the Twilight series. I can't remember, is it like Twilight 4, Tokyo Drift or something? And I'll, but, <laughs> but a lot of the Twihards are really mar mad at Kristen Stewart because she cheated on Robert Pattinson. Who was Cedric? And she, she cheated on Robert Patterson and hooked up with a, a, the married director of the Snow White movie, which makes her Snow White the most home wreckiest of them all. Wait, wait, wait. So, so wait a minute. You, you, you ooed me a, a Joan Rivers plastic surgery joke and you applaud the home wreckiest of all. audience has been imported from Branson, Missouri. You thought. <laughs> you thought you were going to a theater in Branson, but in, and in fact, in a way, you were, I suppose. Oh, we're big in Branson, Craig. <laughs> Is that a sex thing? No, he'll know, man. Like, if you say someone's big in Branson, does that mean they've got Laffy Taffy in their underpants or something? <laughs> Maybe. Do you want to look at Creepy Secretary? Oh, yeah. All right, oh, let's yeah. see. All right, let's see. <laughs> That's enough. It's, it's horribly frightening, man. It is quite frightening. Well, you want to do the thing? I'd love to. All right, do it then. You're watching The Late Late Show, where VMA stands for Victorian Man Aroma.
tonight we're celebrating the work of um, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, yeah. Yeah. That was an excellent speech last night, wasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, I didn't see it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> Everybody's talking about how great it was, though. People love it. They're Pe crazy. People are very excited about it. They're like, oh, Clinton, uh, he should have been president. <laughs> Or maybe at least a little bit more presidential. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're throwing. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. implying. Yeah, you're suggesting. I'm being suggestive. It's kind of my job. Whatever. It's kind of the way that, you know, part of my job is to be suggestive, and another part is to kind of open my jacket a little bit and make you think you're seeing nipple. <laughs> you're not. They're pasties. <laughs> It's way down there. That's that's some low hanging fruit, man. That's, what is? Well, your, your nipple. I thought maybe you were pointing downward. I thought. Yeah. You know, they say that's the thing about ties. The, the the ties are, you know, they point them in an arrow, so it points at your junk. <laughs> so that's why women find them attractive. We're like, ladies, this way. <laughs> Ladies or, or, you know, or whoever, I mean, like, come on. Love all the people, that's what I say, all right? <laughs> Ladies this way. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Are you good. criticizing me tonight? No, I what like that. I like that. What do you mean like that? You were saying it as a sarcastic. No, what the hell's no, wrong with ladies you? Ladies this way. I like that. I like that. <laughs> no, no, you're not saying it like you really like it. You're saying it like you don't like it. You're saying like you, you, the words say it, but your attitude is saying something completely What the hell kind of inflection would you like, man? <laughs> I like well, about something a bit more upbeat. Like, I like that. I like that. Hey, oh, I really like that. Wow. Is it good enough for you? <laughs> cool. You, you can be such a bitch sometimes. It's my time of the month. Look, the only thing, the only thing that could have made that remark worse is if the audience applauded. <laughs> Look, I in no way uh, endorse the views of this skeleton robot. I was talking about post-mortal syndrome. Yeah, you're, you're going too far Thank with you. this thing, man. Let it go. <laughs> but what time is it, Jeffrey? It's Peterson? free mail time, brought to you tonight by Laffy Taffy, provider of Craig's entire wardrobe. <laughs> Play the jingle. Twitter. Tweets will set you free. This is from uh, Gary in Plano, Texas. You ever been down there, oh, Texas? Oh, yeah, I love Texas. Yeah, oh, Texas is a great place. You ever wear a hat when you're down in Texas? Oh, yeah, big and hat. You, and do you take a gun? Yeah. What do you do with it? I shoot at things. Uh, <laughs> Gary says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Uh, did you watch the game last night? I did, actually. Did you watch the game oh, last yeah. night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought there might be something from Texas. The Cowboys won. I know. Who, who saw that coming? Even the Cowboys were like, damn. <laughs> Anyway, do they think the Cowboys can sustain their winning ways for the rest of the season? I don't know. You don't want me to comment on football. It's not going to be good. <laughs> All I remember is last year when the Lions started winning unexpectedly, I said, this is going to be great, and then the Lions started losing immediately. Yes, yeah, bad luck. Bad mojo. Man. I'm bad mojo when oh, it comes yeah. to football. Oh, yeah. You don't watch football, do you? No, no. Why not? Uh, you know, it's just not my thing, man. Well, what is your thing? I think you know. <laughs> Are you going to bet that in football from time to time? It depends. This is from Michael in Mobile, Alabama. I don't know if you can tell, but Michael's a tit. Mm. Mm. A blue tit. Mm. Gets cold down there in Mobile sometimes. <laughs> Dear uh, Craig, Jeff, and Secrescariat. Oh, that's Ooh, good, isn't it? That's Secrescariat. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Have you ever tried bacon jerky? If so, how did you like it? Well, I have tried bacon jerky, actually. Thanks for asking. I thought it was delicious, although a little salty. Jeff? Not going to touch that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got no time left in uh, four emails. We, we, we'll be fine. 
this is from Diana in Montgomery, Alabama, who says, Dear Craig and GP, is Jeff registered to vote in the presidential election? I think he could sway a lot of voters. He can sway more than voters. This is from uh, Maggie in Aurora, Illinois, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, where should I celebrate my 21st birthday? Uh, Jeff? Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> I, I was pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure you were going to say in your pants. No, no, no. Cleaning up my act. Cleaning up oh, my act. All right, okay. <laughs> This is from Ronnie in Salt Lake City. You ever been to Salt Lake City? Sure I have. You know I have. Love it there. Love yeah, Salt yeah. Lake. What, what do you do when you're in Salt Lake City? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I wear a big cowboy hat and uh -huh. I shoot things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Salt Lake City, you don't. Uh, hi, Craig. Hi, Jeff. My husband snores all night, no, all night long and he won't do anything about it. At what point am I justified in sleeping in another room? sleep in another room. What the hell? Why should you sleep in another room? Yeah. Yes. Don't you think so? Uh, take back control, girlfriend. Yeah, take control. You, you can have it all, girl. <laughs> you can have it all. You get your manolas on and you get there and you tell uh, uh, girlfriend. There you are. <laughs> You're welcome, lifetime. Um... <laughs> And finally, this was from Russ in uh, Palos Hills in Illinois. I don't know if you can tell, but Russ is a cockatoo. <laughs> Dear Craig, if you could name Snooky's baby, what would it be? Um, is, that, is that a boy baby or a man baby, a uh, lady baby? Is it a boy baby or a lady? I think it's a boy. Boy baby? I was yeah. going to say, um, what's it, uh, Courvoisier. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's good. I like or that. Cristal, if it was yeah, a girl. Yeah, Cristal. Yeah, yeah. What would you call Snooky's baby? Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly disappointing show so far, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, we're, we're about the halfway point. You're Guess doing your best, be man. You're really working it. We're, we're really? Trying. I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of mediocre tonight, but... Uh, I think it's going to pick up, because the guests come on now, and things, yeah. things get a little better. Then. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right in honor of the unexpected Dallas Cowboys win last night. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a beautiful actress. She stars in The Office, the season premiere of which is on September the 20th on NBC. Take a look at this. Uh, do you want me to get the, the little uh, thing for you? Yes, please. All right, hold on. Uh, I don't the little, touch the yeah, ground. The little Tom Cruise stool. Yeah. There you are. There you are. There you are. Baby, you look great. Thank you so much. You've gone for the bright color blocking like me? Yes, it's the crystal meth outfit. Yeah. Hey. Do you do a lot of crystal meth? I had you down as a sort of uh, clean living type. It makes you go like like your teeth do things, right? Right, that's right. You look like a British person from the 17th century. Right. Yeah. I saw that Oprah. It scared the crap out of me. Did you see the one Oprah's on Oprah's doing crystal meth? No. 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 Because that would be news. That would be, that would be all my alarm. Yeah, Not yeah. really. No, it'd be awful. Because you don't that on anyone. No, no. But if Oprah did meth, there'd be people talking. Yeah. yeah. Man. No, I, you don't want to encourage no. that kind of thing. No, I don't. Right. Please don't do teeth bad drugs. Please don't do teeth bad. <laughs> that... <laughs> Remember that. You know, here's the thing. I thought the show was going to pick up a little bit when you came on, but I don't think no. so. I think we're just going to stay this way yes. the whole night. No, um, no, no, 
It'll no. be fine. It'll be, It'll be okay. Right. How have you been? Have you had a I nice did, summer? Did you? I did. I, I did a little traveling. No, where'd you go? Argentina? I No. Would you like to go to Argentina? Yes. Oh, Are I think going? Jeff's going. I don't want to go with Jeff. Fine. Pl oh, how dare you? What? what the hell? I don't know. He's a skeleton. He looks smelly. Anyway, here's the thing. I went to French Polynesia. French Polynesia, French you say? French Polynesia. Well, uh, that sounds like there would be a joke involved. But you really no, went to I really went there. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's French Polynesia? It's French Polynesia. Yeah. Is it an American Polynesia? No, it's French. Right. It is. I agree. Um, it is. Anyway, I, I try to be adventur adventurous, and right. I... I Swam with sharks. I've done that. You have? Yes. It was so scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it's very scary. What type yeah. of sharks? Well, they're the black tip reef ones. Black tip reef sharks? They are. I got them back. I know. <laughs> I know. They are. In fact, there was this like Aussie, like crusty Aussie. Well, I think all Aussies should be crusty. But anyway, he was like, I was just saying. Some of them are. Some and of some them of them are, are not. Some right. of them are. are uh, shiny. Yeah, Nicole Kidman. She's very, very shiny. shiny. She's not crusty at not all. Crusty. She's as shiny as an alien. Yes, she could be an she alien. She could be. She's like, good <laughs> No, we like. I think I eat my baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but I had like a little cut on my leg, and I said to the Aussie, I was like, I don't know, I'm, I have a little blood on my leg, is that bad? And he's like, which side of the boat are you getting out of? <laughs> like, because he was going to get out of the other oh, side. Oh, the other side of the boat. I thought it was a sexual reference, no. but I've been around the robot too long. Lots like, of what side of the boat do you get yeah. out of? Well, whatever side you want, well, mate. I, well, right. uh, what side of the boat do you get out of, as we're on the subject? I'll do whatever, mate. All right, yes. <laughs> whatever, gets me, yeah. whatever gets me wet first. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Now you're tickled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Uh, but the thing about reef sharks is they are big. Tootsie fruits. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. When I, sorry. <laughs> you mean you mean they, sissies? Sissies. Whatever. They, yeah. they said that on The Sopranos all the time. Remember? Yeah, but The Sopranos is on cable. We're free. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway. You want cussing? You gotta pay. You gotta yeah. pay for it. And boobies. Anyway, so I'm just saying. On HBO. Hell. Okay, so what happens though with reef sharks, like I jumped in and they literally all went like, eh, eh, and they like, they swam. Yeah, that? <laughs> they were like, they took their little fins and they were like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah. they just like went like that. And I was like, that's it? Yeah, See yeah, it? well that's the, that's the reef shark. Where you want to get down there with some lemons or some tigers? Oh boy. No, 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 no. 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 Or a great white. No. No. Well, the reef sharks themselves were like three or five feet, and I'm a tiny person. That's true. You yeah. are small, so they would yeah. seem huge to you. Yeah, and I was like, they might think I'm a fish. No, they, they don't. <laughs> the right? Species identification isn't based entirely on size. Like anything that's that size is a fish. I mean, they have eyes. They can see it's clearly a human, a smaller I don't version. Know. But they... I, I don't know, because like I went camping, and there were signs everywhere, like mountain lions, like protect your children, mountain lion. And I thought... That mountain lion could probably think I'm a kid, because I'm, right? No, no, the mountain so lion now, doesn't attack children because it's looking for tiny. children. It's just looking for, it's not like, I want to find a kid. Ah. <laughs> it's, it's like, that's scary. I scared myself I know, there a little bit. I know, I know. But I, now I think when I see big animals that they're like looking for the tiny ones. And so I'm always like, not that I see a lot of animals. No, you should, you should go to the zoo, go up to uh, the zoo there. So you ever been up to LA Zoo? They've got tons of animals up there. I mean, it's just wall to wall, different species. Yeah. Except the flamingos. Which are stinky. I hate them. They're I, so I can't stinky. Stand them. Both Jeff and I can't stand the flamingos. You don't like stinky Yo, flamingos? No, we abhor them. We, yeah, we, we loathe them. Wow, some serious Well, they pee hate. on their legs to keep cool. No. Yes. Yes, and there's nothing cool about peeing yourself, is there, well. Andrew? <laughs> I thought you wanted me to high five you. And then you hit me, and it scared me. And not now. I haven't peed myself now. But did you hate, did you pee yourself before or after I high fived you accidentally? Before I, I. I would not have high fived you if I'd known you peed yourself. No, I, I got stung by a jellyfish, and I was told to pee on my leg. I got stung on my leg. I'm not. It's not like my proudest no, no, moment. No, 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 no. That that pee thing that only works if it's someone else's pee. No. Yes. Yes. No. 
now. Yes, I'm making it up earnestly right now. Oh, my God. Yes. Well, I peed on my leg, which is not the easiest thing to do. Au not contraire. <laughs> I can do that with my eyes closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. Sure, yeah. So, but it felt better. I don't know if it was psychosomatic, but, you know, ah, pee on your leg, it'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> was it that and same crusty Australian? No. Nicole Kidman came round to your house? Yes. She's like, I'll say you've been stung by yes. a jellyfish. Pee yourself. She was all shiny. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, floats. She hates us now. She I hated me before, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I hang like, out with her all the time. Do you really? No. <laughs> No, not really. I'm not very hip. The cool kid in his hip? <laughs> Isn't she? I guess. I suppose I so, you She's know. Big time movie star or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I went, oh, sorry. It's all right. I peed myself, though, when you did that. <laughs> well, you're so tall. Your leg is right there. Yeah, no, it goes on forever. I apologize. So, yeah. um, I, I went home for like a little family reunion thing and I ran into a cousin, like a second, third cousin I'd never met before. Mm. And she was like, we hear you're a model. And I was like, no, I'm five feet and 40. But, so no, I'm not a model. But um, she was like, you don't even have an accent anymore. I don't even know where you sound, where you're from. And I was like, well, where do you, where do you think I sound like I'm from? And she goes, Florida. <laughs> kind of cool. I was like, I'm so Hollywood. I sound like I'm from Florida. Yeah. Well, it's something for me to look forward to then. I... Oh. We're out of time. Uh, we have to get out. Of... Oh. What the hell? Excuse me. We're out of time. <laughs> See, that's the crystal meth right there. Seriously. All right. We got to take a night. All right. Bye. Uh, my next guest is a producer, writer, and creator of uh, Treme, which new season premieres on Sunday, the September the 23rd on HBO. HBO? <laughs> you can cuss on HBO. Right. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Say before we begin, what an excellent shirt you're wearing this evening. It's clean. It's clean and it's nice. Look, I think it'd go well with this tie. Nah. No, no it would. Look, you've got the paisley there and then the color blocking there. It'd be good. You might want to think about that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Congratulations on the third season of uh, Treme. That's something else. <laughs> now that's... And, and I've done it... Without, without viewers. I mean, that's the beautiful well, you thing. Don't, you, the thing is, you don't need viewers. Who needs viewers? Well, clearly not me either. Exactly. So, <laughs> no, it's fine because the, uh, the, I think the, uh, the, you are, of course, you created the best show that's ever been on television, which was that's The Wire. Uh -huh. That would, no, it was without doubt. I would have said The Honeymooners. But... No, no, no. You didn't create The Honeymooners. I didn't. You're right. uh, but I want to give you something for that. It's a chocolate dollar. Thank you. <laughs> It's been. It is uh, indeed. Yeah, it's a chocolate doll. You, you don't eat it now. I, it's a little. I've been. I've fingered it a bit. <laughs> I'll save it for later. Save it for later, then. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell us about Treme, then. It's set in New Orleans, right? Um, it is. Uh, it's the post Katrina history of New Orleans told through some fictional characters. And, yeah. And uh, no vampires, no gangsters. Hence, uh, no viewers, my exactly. friend. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's your problem. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you know, you gotta get some vampires in there. Yeah. At least some kids that pretend they're vampires and nope. wear nice clothes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, you know, doing a show in Louisiana without vampires, I, you know, I just I know. I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, you'll be all right. But why, why New Orleans after Baltimore, though? You, I mean, you, I think of you as Baltimore all the time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I had to go somewhere else. Actually, I had a little interim where I went to Iraq with. Very, very few series coming out of Iraq. No. Or jumping up and down. They only gave that one seven hours. Right. And we had even less viewers that than That was before. Generation Kill, right? That's right. Right, yeah. And, and the, I think that was, my cousins watched it, and the, some Marines watched it. Right. 
23 Marines who were, you know, whose names were used. And that was it. And so, you know, so you on, wanted to go on to New Orleans. On to New Orleans. And they, but, but I think, do you still live in Baltimore? I do. Yeah. And New Orleans, both places. You have two houses? I do. Yeah, you're doing all right. <laughs> well, I'm, I Can think... I have my chocolate dollar back? <laughs> nah. I fingered it. Yeah, no, well... <laughs> Well, that, that was the reason I gave it to you, I guess. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> so, you, I, I'm fascinated by Baltimore because it, it's such a diverse and wide array of talent comes out of there. You're out there. John Waters is out of John Baltimore. Waters, right? Harry I, I, Levinson. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's, a, it's what is John it, Mencken. Why is it that town produced such, such a wide array of, of diverse talent? I don't know. I have to say, um, uh, Baltimore's a pretty... Uh, basic place, you know, it's, it's a kind of place with basements. It's, it's, I, I often used to think that one of the reasons The Wire in the end worked was that Baltimore was like so many other places, so many other post-industrial cities like St. Louis or Cleveland or... Or even Glasgow, where I'm from. Yeah. I always thought it was a bit it's like It's very much like Glasgow. Yeah, 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 I thought that. I've been to Glasgow and, and it very much reminded me of Baltimore. Yeah, it's, uh, they got the same kind of... They had the same drug problem for a long time. Old, was, old port city. Yeah, it's a lot of unemployment. City, a lot of, lot of uh, political corruption. You'd do fine in Baltimore. You'd do fine. I, I've, <laughs> I've been to Baltimore a couple of times. I did great. <laughs> Yeah, have your bill money taped to your oh, chest? Oh man, no. I used to when I was when I was a kid growing up. We used to walk around. We had, there was a lot of these uh, underpasses under the freeways, and and they built those, these kind of places. And yeah. we used to always carry a, a milk bottle when we went through them in case anyone attacked you. You could smash them with a milk bottle. It was uh, yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> It's the, the building blocks of comedy. Right, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was quite, I mean, the, the wire was seen as, uh, you know, this comment you talk about, you know, the post-industrial society. I met uh, a guy, uh, let's call him an entrepreneur, uh, in Moscow, right? Yeah. Who was a big fan of the wire. And he said it was just like Moscow, like, because it was like some other places. He said, because capitalism cannot really exist effectively unless there is a reasonably... Uh, honest police force. It says if the corruption gets too high in the police force, capitalism just, just cannot exist. Same thing happened in Chicago in the 1920s, happened in a lot of post-industrial American cities, and it happened in Moscow in the, uh, after the fall of the Soviet Union. That's interesting. I think that you know, we're in a situation now where uh, capital is, uh, is having its way. Uh, and, and labor has been really diminished over the last 30, 40 years. You're not a Republican, are you? I'm a little, I'm a little to the left of the Democratic Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see that. But you know, uh, so somebody's got uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or a big cash prize. <laughs> you got to go for the big cash prize. I'll go for the big cash. prize. Really? Great. What time is it, Shadow Steve? It's time for the big cash prize. Right. Seven and a half dollars. Eight and a half dollars. So eight and a half dollars if you include the chocolate dollar, slightly fingered. So. um... Uh, if you could answer uh, one question. You ready? All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. In the original comic book, what was the name of Superman's pet monkey? Was it D. Beppo? <laughs> How did we get through Reykjavik to the question? <laughs> Just one of those end of empire with laughs things going on, I guess. You you are an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Is, are there other choices besides D? Sure, but they're wrong. I'm gonna go with Beppo. Beppo, D is the correct answer! <laughs> Professional show on television, everybody. My next guests are on tour now. They're performing a track uh, tonight called What Makes a Good Man. It's off their new album, The Glorious Dead. Please welcome the heavy, everybody. The heavy.
<laughs> the hair 